never, ever underestimate the power of frozen water. Bow. It's me, Mikey Pipes, with Peter. Peter Piper. Peter Piper. TGI Tuesday. Thank God it's Tuesday. Actually, it feels like a Monday, but it's actually a Tuesday. We're one day closer to Friday. I hope everyone yesterday, which was Memorial Day, we celebrate Memorial Day in the United States, the great states of the United States of America. We celebrate Memorial Day, uh, the last Monday of May, uh, for all those who gave all, fighting for our freedom, the great United States of America and the military. So uh, I hope everyone, at least, I know it's a day off for a lot of people, I hope everyone at least gave some thought and some and a moment of silence to those who, who gave all. Mm -hmm. Today is Tuesday. Today is the 20, I don't know. 30th? 30th? 30th, 30th. wow. June's right around the corner. Mm -hmm. Summer. We're gonna make this a double header. We're not gonna install just one Watts backflow preventer. We're gonna install two of them. Exciting. Very exciting. Smash that thumbs up button. And let me show you how we roll. All right, Peter, we have a inch and a quarter water meter with inch and a half water service. This valve is no bueno. And then we have inch and a half water main. And we gotta put in a double check valve here to uh, comply with code. You need a backflow prevention device on the water main here. So fortunately, we got the press. And we're gonna bang this out. We're gonna probably cut this here, maybe. Cut that there, or maybe there, do it on a diagonal. Or maybe we'll put a 45 there, keep it off the wall, yeah. We'll put a 45 here, keep it off the wall. And then we'll put a 90 up there with a 45 there. And uh, get it done. What you think? We good? All right, so we got this big giant apartment building with 12 units. We have a hose faucet on, open on this side, hose faucet open on the other side. We're going to drain down the building, and now we'll make some cuts. So I got Peter tightening up the Vega inch and a half press male unions right there. Really nice. The inch and a half watts LF lead free 007 M2 QT. Double check. Nice, beautiful, beautiful valve. Expensive. She's big. She's big. She's big. She's a big girl. That's right. <laughs> She's definitely big. What are we putting in the food store? Is that two inch? In the supermarket? Yeah, yeah it was a two inch. Yeah. Yeah, that was a big beast too. A wilder beast. There you go. Nice and tight. And as you notice, he's tightening the union. Right? So when he's tightening the union, he's not only making the union tight, but also he's pushing in the... Uh, the inch and a half male side of that union into the female threads. Okay, don't go crazy, okay? We don't want to uh, split that valve. Yeah. Split that valve. Fudged. <laughs> Very nice. So, game plan is still the same. I cleaned my copper right here. We're going to put on a uh, 45. We're going to come up and then a 90, shoot across to right there. We're going to use all new copper right here. It's going to look really, really nice. And uh, I guess I could have used an inch and a inch and a quarter, but an inch and a half there already. I'm not going to size down, so it makes no sense. But we do have that one inch restriction here and there. But we have plenty of volume coming in. A lot of volume coming into this bad boy. And that's that's copper. That's K copper right there. K. K. You know, you have for for copper tubing, you have L, which is for pressure. You know, M, which we use for hydronic purposes. And we have K, which is service weight underground. Yep. All right. So we're going to cut and get you on the right. A couple more presses left.
that's all folks test port one two three and four are all closed let's slowly turn on the water i didn't get that could you try again which way are we going yep right up it is interesting question <laughs> siri <laughs> Slowly open and restore service back to the building. Let things pressurize. And that will complete the installation component of the install. Next, we have to test it. All right, Peter. That was a nice one. That was what, your third or fourth one we've done together? That's around four or five. You did a lot of work yourself again. So we got one more to do left right now for today. We're replacing one that froze. Yeah, it froze. It froze. I don't get it. It froze. This is going. We're going to a watch half inch. We're taking out a Febco, and we're putting in a watch three quarter inch lead free uh, double check for an irrigation system. So, off to the next. Peter, you don't remember this job? I don't. Look at the sticker. Remember the sticker? Okay. How about this? You remember this? Remember that nice, beautiful boiler? No, I don't. Yeah. I don't Someone good. actually recently commented on this we did this a few several months ago well actually let's look and let's see what we did it we did it on march 16th 23 new install right someone actually just recently commented where's the backflow preventer it's right here you effing moron <laughs> um there's the boiler nice everything came in look at this look at this this is beautiful work Beautiful work. This is the Whale McLean. In case, guys, in case you don't know, this is the Whale McLean CGA5 uh, 140,000 BTU gas fired boiler. This is set up for three zones. My company, Pipe Doctor, with Peter and Daniel. Um, we installed this and it really, really, really came out nice. Um, but we're not here for this. We're here for. Now I know why. Now I know why Peter didn't recall doing this job because Peter was with that loser, Frankie, in Nashville, Tennessee. And that loser, Frankie, by the way, had the balls to appeal his unemployment insurance denial, right, for falling asleep in class. And his reason is, is that my employer knew that the activities I was doing made me feel ill. Can you believe this degenerate loser, Frankie? He got fired for sleeping in class with a major client of mine, embarrassing me and my company. And then he has the balls to appeal the denial that he was sleeping in class that oh no my employer knew that what i was doing the night before drinking myself shit-faced um that i knew about that and that makes it okay Ugh. a loser and back to the video bow i was wrong it's an apollo this is an apollo three quarters double check valve we have right off of our water main which oh, it sucks I wish there was a valve right here but there's a valve there so we'll turn off the water here Right, we'll we'll close that. We'll drain that outside as a hose force. Outside, make sure we open that up right out there. And it froze. Look, let's see if I can show you. Where is the crack? Can I show you people with a crack? There it is, right there. Bow, look at that. That is insane. That, sorry, so much pressure. All right, was inside this valve that it split the cast brass. It's crazy. So we're going to, uh, and we'll show, we're going to sp spray some spray foam up in that piece right there. So we're going to, uh, we'll cut here and we'll cut there and we'll throw a new valve in. Ready? With the Watts. Ready. Not a sponsor of the channel, but they did reach out saying that one of the executive vice presidents of the channel, of the, of the, of the, of their corporation watched my video and they, they think I'm great. Yeah. But I'm far from great. Only God is great. Ain't that right? It's true. True. Only God is great. Let's go throw in the Watts LF007M2QT double check valve. Get the job okay, done. Okay, so one observation. We're going to know that this is kind of pointing down. So I guess even when they're blowing it out, which they're probably not blowing out correctly, um, water's getting trapped in here. Not a good thing. Let's. Uh, we're going to cut here. We're going to raise this up, put a new elbow there. And the objective is to try to spin that out of here and maybe keep that fitting there. So... Let's see what we can do. Okay. So far, so good. I mean, that valve is holding. 
<laughs> that valve's holding. So we're gonna come up with this to like there and let gravity take its place. So uh, let's, we're gonna get in another elbow. And let me see if I can spin that out from right so there. So I use my, my guns and I held back here and I backed this out and take a look at that crack, baby. Wow, that is pretty impressive. Wait until this bad boy's out. Just wait for it, ladies and gentlemen. Wait for it. You're going to be like, oh, my God. That's a lot, a lot, a lot of pressure. Look at that. That's crazy. Damn. Damn. Imagine, like, someone took a sledgehammer and cracked your head open like that. that imagine that kind of pressure is needed. Damn. This is heavy, too, no less. I don't want to drop it on the floor and risk cracking the tile, but it's heavy. Yeah. All right. There she is. We're gonna need a flat screwdriver to close that though. Wow, see, so smart, weehaw. Okay, okay. Close, 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 close. Let's restore water service. Okay, and valve number one, and valve number two. <laughs> Let's open up this and flush out from there. Okay, we just have the two drains open All outside. Right. At least everything is flushed out of there. Let's close the frost free and let's close that drain. Perfect. Excellent. And remember, you need backflow compliance in the state of New York in the Long Island Valley Stream area? Call me, 516 348 6300. We work on residential and commercial backflow the valves with double check valve or reduced pressure zone. Mikey Pipes got you back. 516-348-6300. Or email me, mike at pipedoc.net.